What's good, everybody? Good morning, man. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, he gave me a thumbs up. Um, it's a new day. Uh, still got the same thing I had on yesterday. Uh, now, I just pulled on the side of the road. Uh, well, not the road, but let's just say I stayed at a rest stop last night. And uh, I was just getting tired. So, did my, did my reset and everything. And now I'm headed to go grab some fuel where I can brush my teeth I can uh, change clothes get ready to drop this uh, car lift off first in uh, kind of it's called Winter Haven Florida kind of close to Tampa not too far away from it and I weighed myself this morning and this is a heavy ass load bro this is the heaviest load I ever took and this load is uh, just that a little bit over 10,000 pounds but glad to say tank is, is is pulling her like a beast baby so i'm happy about that i'm getting decent mpgs i was getting 12 until i made it into florida and now i'm at like 11 and, and that's just because it's like hella like slopes coming into florida i guess on interstate 10 so that's what it is but yeah man uh, i'm gonna keep you guys updated next time y'all see me i will be probably in a different set of clothes hopefully and i'll be dropping this thing off so uh yeah man let's get to it so i put exactly 27 gallons in here right i bet y'all i'll be on full all the way on full I didn't even tell her how much I was going to pay. I mean, I didn't tell her how much I want to put on here. I just told her 27 gallons. And that was my total. Just watch. Just watch. I'm teaching y'all some shit. They cheated. So watch this. We filled all the way up. Oh, whoa. What is that? Hey, yo, have y'all ever seen something like this at a truck stop? See, you can't give people like me shit like this. I'm gonna wash my whole truck right here. What are you talking about? I peach be fresh, smelling kind of good. I mean, you can only smell so good when you're hopping out of a truck every day. But uh, let's go ahead and make this last push to drop off this load and let's get to the money bro I got so much allergy medicine this don't make no sense but let me take this because if I don't I mean not all of them but I need to take this if I don't I ain't gonna be too pretty to look at Alright guys, so we're officially almost empty. We just got the engine to deal with and then we're done. Now, if y'all already know, I don't like an empty trailer. I like to try to keep something on my trailer at all times. So when we drop this off tomorrow in Miami, we're going to try to find another load because tomorrow is Friday. So yeah, we're just going to try to find another load and you know, I plan on staying in Florida for like about a week. So we're gonna just go back and forth. We're gonna be in Florida all week. So let's get on the road, man. Let's get out of this ugly part of Florida. No, I don't mean that. Winter Haven ain't ugly. It's just not the most prettiest thing to see. Or it's not what you would imagine when you hear Florida. Like, like where are the palm trees at? I mean, those are palm trees, I guess. Like midget palm trees. But I guess, man. Um, but yeah, 
got everything straight. I just wanted to make sure my dunnage is good. You know, we always check the load. Everything tight there. Tight, tight, tight. So this is probably gonna be a shitty rod because of where it's located. So I'm gonna probably get like a lot of bouncing. I hope not, but if I do, it just is what it is. I got a three hour drive. But ideally, heavy stuff, I would wanna put it directly over the axles. You know, or maybe even, to be honest with you, maybe even slightly forward, like maybe like right around here. Or like this is the middle mark of my trailer. I don't know if y'all knew that or not, but where that light is, that's gonna be the center of your trailer, the exact center. So maybe like, like right over here, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not putting too much weight up there. And that's why I did this like this, just because that long piece was, they said it was 27 feet. It wasn't 27 feet. It was like maybe like 24, 23 feet, but it was 5,000 pounds but it was spanned out over, you know what I'm saying, 25 feet, let's just say, 25 feet. So that was 5,000 pounds spread out over 25 feet compared to this engine, which is 5,000 pounds, and it's like five feet. So when you get loads like this, you wanna make sure that you put them over your axles because if you've got them too far back, you're gonna get a lot of bouncing, um, you're gonna get a shitty rod, and then if you get them too far up, you're gonna overload your axles, um, your back axles on your truck. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to overload your back axle because that could be an infraction. You could be put out of service for it. So um, let's get on the road, man. I got shit to do, people to see, money to make, baby. Let's get the money. Yo, what's good, everybody? It is Friday. It is Freaky Friday, man. I'm picking up my trailer right now. I'm in Miami. I uh, I just dropped my trailer because my hotel that I stayed in last night, I um, mean, they have no parking for it, so I didn't want to try to force that or you know have to walk too far. So I just decided to go ahead and bring it in, um, bring it into the truck yard. It's only thirty-three dollars, so I'm cool with that. Uh, I got something to tell y'all. Y'all see that tire? That's my spare tire. Somehow it shook loose and came off of this. Fell off, went under my trailer, and got hit. I mean, the tire is done. Hold on, let me show y'all. Oh, look at this. I don't want to get cut, but y'all get the point. Yeah, the tire is done. Ram in tire, done both sides so yeah man um yeah went up under my trailer i guess i must have ran over it or something it actually put a nice little dent under my trailer but it's nothing it missed the axle so that's all i care about um just the price of doing business everybody so um just wants to give y'all a heads up man uh so we don't need to fix that because we can't be riding around without no spare that's that's a no-no so I'm gonna try to find a trailer uh, trailer company out here that has a spare that I can just buy off of them. Um, I'll just spend that money and just leave it at that. But yeah, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this trailer hooked up. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make this last drop. End the week strong. Hopefully, if we can, we can try to find something else. I'm gonna hop on the load boards and try to see if we can find something else uh, that I can put on my trailer that's gonna be somewhere in and around Florida. And uh, yeah, go from there because y'all know I hate empty trailers. That means we ain't making no money. Look at all the people that ain't making no money right now. All of that, all of that, no cars, no nothing. So, uh, but yeah, guys, go ahead and get this shit started. We're about 30 minutes away from our drop off. So uh, let's finish the week strong. Truck and trailer. 
you already know how to line her up. Made it to the drop off. The guy's about to go get a forklift because they need a special type of forklift to take this out because it's pretty heavy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, unchain it, unstrap it so we can get on the road, man. Um, it's been a hell of a process, but uh, yeah, let me hurry up and do this and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. We got a problem. My bad. That train like dumb loud. Yeah, man, we got a problem. Uh, y'all remember how I said that spare tire missed the axle? I don't think it missed the axle. So when I'm driving, I'm getting like some vibration when I get like up to 65 miles an hour, and I want to show y'all this. Hold on a second. Looking at so that's what a tire had hit, right? So I think, and I can tell a tire hit right there too. It kind of bent that, but I'm not really. I'm not really too for sure like what the French toe sticks is going on. I think that since this is bit, it kind of threw everything else off. Because now look at my leaf springs. Y'all see that? It's kind of like off now. So, and all I really got to go off of is that over there. And then if you look back here too, you can tell it hit right there, hit right there, and it hit off that back axle too. So yeah, I'm not really too for sure what to do from this point. Today, one thing is a motherfucking other. But I'm gonna take it to a trailer repair shop just so they can look at it. Hopefully, they'll be able to bend some of this stuff back. Um, but I'm thinking this may be the problem. But as I'm looking at this tire and trying to line it up with my back one, this one is kind of like just slightly, like slightly bent at the top. Like basically the axle bent. I don't know if y'all can tell, but that axle ain't straight. It's kind of bent up a little bit. It don't look like the back one is that much, but this one is the show, I can tell. So I'm thinking either with this being up, I don't know. I need to try to see if I can fix it. Like I really want to see if I can fix it. 
So once I get to Tampa, I'm like fuck around with it a little bit and go from there. Cause if I can go without spending a little bit, a little bit of money, then I'm gonna I'm take that option. But we'll see what we can do, man. Uh, but this is what under my trailer looks like. And it's just like, it's a hair off. Like I'm looking at it right here and it's like slightly like sticking up on the top. Like it's just, the top is slightly like bent this way. And I'm comparing it to the back tire. So yeah, guys. That truck life, man. This type of shit that comes with it. But, uh... I guess I'm going to have to add that to my uh, my pre-trip inspection. I'm not for sure if you guys uh, already do it or not. But uh, just to kind of check on my spare tire. Uh, well, I mean, I already kind of check on my spare tire, like, maybe once a week just to make sure it's good. But I'm going to have to check to make sure that those lug nuts that's holding that motherfucker in place is tight. And I'm not saying it's anybody's fault, but I should have I should have been... I should have been checked that. So I just want to share that with y'all. Y'all know I get y'all the good, the bad, the ugly, the I fucked up, the you know what I'm saying, right along with the this how much money I made. So y'all enjoy y'all day. Um, remember, man, if you're gonna be in this trucking industry, you it's good and bad, and I want to share everything with you guys. So uh, drop a comment, man. Let me know what your ideas are, what you think about the situations. Again, I don't know everything. I don't act like I know everything. And if you come for me, I'm going to beat you up. Simple. I forgot one more thing. So I had a problem with that delivery of that engine. So the guys actually didn't like the engine. They was like, it's an old ass engine and the pieces on it are loose. Like or it like kind of shook off or fell off or something like that or shook off. I can't remember exactly how the guy said it. Um, actually, I'm gonna show y'all. Let's do y'all even one better. I can try to describe it or I can just show y'all niggas. I ain't gonna show too much of this, but I had him right. Let me see. Oh. So I had him right on here. He just said one used engine with pieces loose. Oh shit boom so he wrote one used engine with piece uh with pieces loose driver not at fault that's the key right there driver not at fault because i don't know if y'all remember how i strapped that i didn't put nothing over the engine for this exact reason all right and so he signed it dated it and uh that's somebody else's problem so if they try to give me any type of kickback on this delivery where they act like they don't want to pay i'm like hey driving out at fault this is some shit you know what i'm saying some shit they doing that and that's what i kind of hate about hauling used used stuff or my nigga what are you but that's what i hate about like kind of hauling used stuff or doing like commodities from one person that didn't kind of fixed it or did they version of fixing it and then a person that's receiving it because you know they're gonna go over it with a fine tooth comb and say oh well we paid this much money because that engine was twenty five thousand dollars so they're gonna say oh well we paid twenty five thousand so i want a discount or i want this you know so whatever it is that's their problem that has nothing to do with me but that's a very important like if they be like hey like i gotta write this on the on the bl like that yo this is how we got it and i don't like it hey you put on their driver not at fault and go ahead and sign that because I, I ain't got nothing to do with that like again when i when i mounted it i mean when i uh strapped it and secured it a lot of people were like oh i would have put a strap over the engine i ain't touching that damn engine because tightening that down it could move something bend something whatever and then i'm at fault because believe when you pull up and they looking at everything they they excited they've been waiting on this shit, right so they looking at okay damn like let me look at Okay, let me look at the engine. Well, damn, what's that strap on? Is that the oil filter? Damn, he bend the oil filter when he trying to strap this shit down? Cause you know, you gotta use some force trying to strap this stuff down, make sure it stays secure. So don't, don't mess yourself up in the long run. You know what I'm saying? Just 
strap it the best way you can or chain it the best way you can and just go from there but I ain't got no straps or no chains of course you can see in the video I show you guys how I strap and chain everything nothing was touching the engine so that's gonna be up to them in the uh, in the shipper so uh, I'm staying out of it but that's the last thing I want to tell you guys uh, I'm gonna try to get better at like picking up the camera when I'm having these conversations and um, you know what I'm saying like when I'm talking to the guys on the phone and just kind of showing you guys how I work through these problems <sighs> hopefully we ain't got no more problems I, I would like to go a full month and not have any problems will that happen probably not but if we can have a full month with no problems no issues where I ain't got to spend no extra money outside of fuel insurance you know the the normal wear tear whatever I'll be in good I'll be in good standing no no kizzy so uh, guys, I appreciate you guys for tuning into the channel. We're going all the way up. I'm working on a preferred list for you guys. So if you guys need brokers, if you guys need dispatchers, if you guys need, um, uh, what's the people, uh, consultants, like uh, getting your business started, I got you. I got you. Your compliance people. There we go. Compliance people. Um, I'm going to put a list together of the people I recommend, and you guys can use those people. They're going to be very knowledgeable. Um, and they gonna have my my touch on the back end of it so i want to spread the love to everybody i can i appreciate everybody for like you know what i'm saying supporting me everything that y'all are doing i'm gonna keep cranking out these videos as much as i can i'm even gonna hop in a box truck for probably like a week and get y'all some box truck content so you know just to you know what i'm saying just to satisfy your guys let you know problems that i'm having things that are coming up so uh again i appreciate you guys thank y'all for rocking with me and until next time, guys, let's go get the money.